Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today, in this video, we will be developing ladder logic from Boolean expressions. Example 16, y is equal to a plus b into cd. And then y is equal to a naught b c naught plus d e naught f. So we will start with the first one. That is, y is equal to a plus b into c, d. So let's move to EcoStructure Machine Expert, where we will draw a ladder diagram for the example. I will open EcoStructure Machine Expert. I will keep read prediction as inactive and write prediction as inactive, and then click on apply. Then I will go to configuration tab. Here is a list of different logic controllers. I will be using TM221C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? Yes. Then I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder logic or ladder diagram for the example. I will click on this option for a full screen mode and zoom into it like this. So there is OR kit with input A and B. So we will use normally open contacts for A and B and connect them in parallel. I will insert two normally open contacts. I will insert another normally open contact here. And then I will insert a coil. So I need to connect this normally open contact. I will click on this option and draw a line like this. I will assign address to the contact as i 0.0, .0 I will also add symbol to it as a yes and then i 0.1 I will add symbol as b yes then there is AND gate with c and d and then there is another AND gate with output of a plus b and CD. So we will connect C and D in series and connect it to A plus B. So we will insert two more normally open contacts here. I will assign address to it as I 0.2 and I 0.3. I will also add symbol to it as C yes and then d yes then i will assign address to the coil as q 0.0, .0. i will also add symbol to it as y yes so for output y to be on either a or b should be on and c and d should be on so for output Y to be on, either A, C, D should be on or B, C, D should be on. We will exit full screen mode. We will compile the program. And then we will go to commissioning. Here I will launch simulator. Then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. I will go to programming tab full screen mode. So if I turn on A, C and D, the output Y will be on or instead of A, I will turn on B and also C and D are on and then also Y will be on. So if I turn off C, the output Y will be off. So for output Y to be on, C and D are mandatory on. And then A or B should be on. So we will exit full screen mode. We will go to commissioning and stop simulator. Then we will go to programming. Here we will delete this run. 
and then we will add a new rock. So here we will draw a ladder diagram for the next one. That is A naught B C naught plus D E naught F. So here there is AND gate with A naught B and C naught, and there is another AND gate with D E naught and F, and then there is OR gate with the output of A naught B C naught and D E naught F. So we will use normally closed contacts for A naught C naught and E naught. I will click on a full screen mode. Normally closed contact, normally open contact, and one more normally closed contact. So I will add symbol to it as A and then B and then C. So I will insert one more normally open contact and then another and then normally close contact. So I will assign address to it as I 0.3 that is D and then I 0.4 I will add symbol to it as E. Yes. And then I will assign address to it as I 0.5 and symbol to it as F. Yes. I will insert a coil here. I will assign address to it as Q 0.0. .0. That is Y. So I need to connect this. I will click on this option and draw a line like this. So there is AND gate with A, B and C. And there is also AND gate with D, E and F. And then there is OR gate with the output of A, B, C and D, E, F. So for output Y to be on, either A should be off, B should be on and C should be off. Or C, D should be on, E should be on and F should be off. So we will exit full screen mode and we will We'll compile the program. We'll go to commissioning and launch simulator. Then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. So if I turn on B, the output Y will be on. And for output Y to be on, B should be on and A and C should be off. Or if I turn on D and E and F is off, the output Y will be off, will be on. So for output Y to be on, either B should be on or D and E should be on and other inputs should be off. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.